Hi everyone, it's Veronica from Blue Star Crochet. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work my Lottie Lays Corner bookmark. This has been a long awaited video tutorial. I'm sorry it took so long. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the corner bookmark. So to start the pattern, we're going to create a slip knot. And we're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. We're going to miss the first four chains. These are counting as one double crochet and one chain space. And into the last chain from the hook, I'm going to work one double crochet. Chain one. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. So this is the first row where you created five double crochets and four one chain spaces. To start the second row, I'm going to chain four. Again, this chain four counts as the first double crochet and one chain space. And I'm going to work another double crochet into the same stitch at the bottom of the beginning four chain. And this will basically give me the first V stitch. I'm going to chain five. And now I'm going to work one V stitch into the third chain of this beginning chain four. Okay, so into the top of the beginning chain. So that's one double crochet, one chain and one double crochet. So that's the second row. To start the third row, we're going to chain four again. And this again counts as the first double crochet and one chain space. And I'm going to work into the V stitch. I'm going to work one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet so this is basically where we created again the shell of five double crochets and four one chain spaces now i'm going to find the middle stitch of this first shell we created so that's the one two third double cro du double crochet and i'm going to work one single crochet into top of this stitch and I'm going to work over the five chain space so we fix it in the position like this okay and then into the last V stitch here on the edge I'm going to work this five double crochet shell again so I'm going to work one double crochet, one double crochet, chain one, second double crochet, chain one, third double crochet, chain one, fourth double crochet, chain one, and the fifth double crochet and here we go so that's the first three rows of the bookmark to start the fourth row we're going to turn and again we're going to chain four this is the first double crochet and one chain space and I'm going to work one double crochet in the same stitch 
at the bottom of the beginning chain to create my first V stitch. Now we're going to chain five. And I'm going to skip this whole shell and I'm going to work one V stitch into this single crochet in the middle. So we're going to go with one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet, which creates the V stitch. And again, I'm going to chain five, and I'm going to miss this shell, and I'm going to find the third chain of the beginning four chain, and I'm going to work one V stitch into the third chain of the beginning four chain. So that's one double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet. Okay. So that's the end of row four. And this will now become the repeat that we're going to repeat to the end of the pattern. So to work row five, I'm going to chain four again. And now we're going to create a shell into this first V stitch. So that's the beginning four chain counts as the first double crochet, one chain space. This is the second double crochet, chain one, third double crochet, chain one fourth double crochet, chain one, and the fifth double crochet. So that's your first shell. Now I'm going to, again, find the middle double crochet from the shell, not the previous row, but the row before that. And I'm going to work one single crochet into that stitch. And I'm going to work over the five chain to fix it in position like this into the next V stitch we're going to create another shell so I'm going to go with one double crochet chain one second double crochet chain one third double crochet chain one fourth double crochet, chain one, and last double crochet to finish off the shell. And again, I'm going to find the middle double crochet. So one, two, third one. And we're going to work one single crochet into the top, working over the five chain to fix it in position. And we're going to work one more shell into this end V stitch in the same fashion as before. And here we go. That's the end of the row five. So you're basically now going to carry on repeating row four and row five until you have nine rows in total. And I'll meet you back and I'll show you row 10. So I have repeated the pattern of row four and row five until I have nine rows in total. And now we just need to work the picot edge across the last row. So to do that, I'm going to find the first one chain space. And we're going to slip stitch in there and chain one. So we're going to start working in this first one chain space. And it's going to be one single crochet, chain three, 
and one single crochet in that same one chain space okay now next one chain space i'm going to repeat exactly the same so that's one single crochet chain three and one single crochet in the same space and next one chain space one single crochet chain three and one single crochet into the same space and the last one is one single crochet chain three one single crochet in the same space now we come to the one single crochet from previous row so i'm going to just slip stitch into that one single crochet and we're go going to carry on across next shell working one single crochet three chain one single crochet into each of the four one chain spaces and then we're just going to slip stitch into the next single crochet again so i'm going to repeat the pattern across the whole row and i'll meet you at the end of the row where we're going to work together across the last shell so i've come to the end of the row 10 and i'm going to work one single crochet into the last one chain space chain three and this very last single crochet i'm going to work into the third chain of the beginning chain four and here we go that's the first triangle of the lottie lace corner bookmark finished so now what you need to do is create another triangle exactly the same and next step will be to crochet them together. So after you made your second triangle, we're going to crochet the two triangles together. I did this on the right side. So you're going to line up the two triangles with right sides uh, facing out and we're going to crochet them together on the right side so you need to do this very neatly we're going to work around the end post stitch of each row to crochet them together so i'm going to show you just on this one triangle um, i'm just going to pretend the second triangle's there so you're going to, going to be working around the post stitches on the very end of the row so holding the two triangles together you're just going to work I worked neatly three single crochet stitches around the post of each stitch. So this is basically what you need to do all the way around to crochet the two triangles together. So basically this is what you need to do, just holding the two triangles together and you're going to go all the way around and when you get to the end of end stitch here, you're gonna work around this one. And then I chained two just to turn the corner and worked three single crochet around post of each stitch on the other side. Um, the bookmark really benefits from firm blocking. I mean, I haven't starched this one because I, I'm quite happy using it as it is this way but um, you can starch it to make it a bit stiffer, but this one works for me. So that was the video tutorial for my Lottie Lace corner bookmark. If you like the pattern, the full written free pattern is available on my blog, bluestarcrochet.com, and I will leave the link um, in the description for this video. Thank you for watching.